Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have three color by number books that I would like to do some flip throughs of for you. I got my most current copy of the mystery colors that I am subscribed to. And then two of the relax and color. This is one that just came out. This I inadvertently forgot and I am so sorry, Alicia. Um, to do a flip through of and show in my last month's coloring haul. So we're going to look at that one today also. This version um, was not available in my local Walmart. So she so nicely purchased it and sent it to me. Thank you so much. It was so kind of you. So we're going to take a look at those too. I was excited about this one because it's flowers and birds. Mm. So let's take a look at the most current version of Mystery Colors. This one is Wild West. Now, these books are quite detailed. Um, but the thing is, like this one is landscape. It looks, you know, absolutely hard, hard, hard. But if you look at the numbers, you're going to see many of these numbers are the same. Like here's number four. Number four goes all the way down. So each little shape is not a different color. You would take the same color, you know, and go all the way down. So it's not as difficult as what this picture looks, <laughs> if uh, that makes any sense. Here is your color chart. The color palettes, I don't believe, oh, maybe they are are the same on every page. Oh, they are. No, they're not. Quit playing with my mind. Okay, it only lists the colors that are needed for each particular page, but I do think they are all the same. Five, yes, they are. Oh, that's nice. Oh, awesome. Okay, so here, list of color. I didn't want to go by this because this was, I forgot what um, magazine it was or what coloring book it was. It showed this, but yet it was not the standard colors that was used in each picture, you know, one through, in this case, 19. This book, it is. So, oh, that's awesome. Yay. Makes it so much easier when, again, you can uh, set up your colors for a particular medium and use it throughout the whole book. So, um, again, for these types of books, really hard to do a flip through of because it's really hard to kind of make out the pictures. But what I like is on the opposite page, they always give you a fun fact about that particular picture. Kind of gives you a clue as to what the picture is going to be. Let's see if I can find a fun fact that's shorter. Well, like for instance, this one. As part of Native American ceremonies that also included drumming, sacred fires, herbal medicines, and prayer, these tribal performances provided a unifying presence at festivals which celebrated many aspects of tribal life, like summoning the spirit of the buffalo to cure the sick. So you know that this is probably going to be some type of Native American picture. And this writing equipment is designed with both human and equine in mind. So you can kind of make out the horse here. So yeah, like I said, kind of gives you a clue. I'm not going to flip through every page because like I said, doesn't really pay. But yeah, lots and lots of pictures. Um, the paper is thin. Um, it, it's not your, your best paper, but it is single-sided, so um, I'm not sure how alcohol markers would work on this type of paper. It's not that real thirsty, thirsty paper. Um, Amazon paper, like what Jade Summer uses, um, it's, it's not like that. It is different than that. It is much smoother. Um, so again, not sure how alcohol markers would bleed outside of the lines, 
The lines aren't the thinnest, but you know, they're not the real thick line art either. They're just kind of in the middle. But yeah, can't wait to dive into this. I'm not sure if all of the mystery colors use the same color palette. I should have looked at that. That would be awesome. <laughs> And then at the back, we do have the answer key. Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. And we have the totem pole. So yeah, everything that is a Western themed. Oh, look at the eagle. Gorgeous. It does give you the page number. <laughs> Bison. Then it says, check out these great books. So we have the Mystery Colors, Picture Puzzles, and Mazes. Um, you can follow them on their Instagram at Centennial Books. I'm not sure if there are subscriptions to these, but, uh, you know, the Mystery Colors, which I am subscribed to, I know there is a subscription to. These only come out four times a year. You know, every uh, three months uh, you get a magazine sent to you. So, again, that's the most current version of Mystery Colors. Then we have two Relax and a Color. Again, uh, these are color by number, yeah. I thought they were. Um, this is the most current. You can get these at most of your local Walmarts. Not sure about other stores, but I know they're at Walmart. Um, and they did happen to have the most current version this time. Don't know if there's been any versions in between this. Maybe Nikki from Nikki and Niagara would know, because I know she likes these books also. But this is the one that Alicia sent me. So let's take a look at this. It's adorable animals, beautiful blooms, amazing places, and more. There are 31 designs in this particular book. Okay, so we do have our color key here. 24 colors, and let's see if these are the same. Yes, they are. Are they the same in all the books? No, because this one has 28 colors. Darn it all. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, but here we have our parrot. Now these, you can make out the pictures much easier. They're not near as detailed as the mystery colors. So yeah, if you don't like that amount of detail, these relaxing colors are not quite as detailed. And again, we do have the fun fact over here. Um, I'm assuming these are put out by the same publisher. Yes, Centennial Activities. So cute bunny. Oh, there's a pattern. Mandala. Now, unlike mystery colors, they do show all the colors for every picture, not just those that are needed in that particular picture. Looks like each one of these have different colors, so they're not all four the same. Oh, that's neat. Oh, we got our chicken and baby chicks. Meditation. No, yoga. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of one I colored in with gel pens. <laughs> and they were even smaller pieces than this. But I had a lot of fun with that. Yeah. I do see some of these are left white, though. I have a hard time leaving white on my pages. Do you do that too? In my pattern books and mandala books? Yeah. I have a real hard time doing that. But when I see other people that do do that, it adds so much to the picture by leaving white, you know, as highlights. Oh my goodness. Look at that. 
Wow. Oh, I bet that'd be so pretty when it's done, though. Some pretty flowers. Ballet dancer. Our mountains. Oh my gosh, another one? Maybe there are different colors in the first one. Yeah, this one doesn't look to have any white in it. So, must be totally different than the other one. Here's the picture from the front cover, I believe. Yes. I love that mandala. But that has pretty colors in it, too. We have our fruit. That was interesting. I just quickly read the beginning of this fun fact. I did not know this. Botanically speaking, among these fruits, only the orange is a berry. <laughs> what? The strawberry and blackberry are aggregate fruits with many seeds, while the cherry is a droop, which is a stone fruit with a single seed. What? <laughs> An orange is a berry? Wow. Hmm. And a strawberry and a blackberry aren't? My gosh. Learn something new every day. Interesting. Here we have a windmill. And then we have our answer key in the back. Oh, is that pretty? Gorgeous rose. Oh, see, that optical illusion picture is gorgeous. And that one, mmm. Here's that one puzzle picture. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that with the rainbow design. Okay, so that is the one that, again, Alicia so kindly sent to me. Then the most current copy of Relax and Color is Flowers and Birds. Again, we have 30 inspiring designs. Our color key is here, again with 28 colors this time. I'm thinking some of these colors may be similar though to the first book, so you may be able to use some of the same colors. Ooh, not really. <laughs> Okay, I lied. I lied. Well, like light brown is similar to tan. Mid brown, dark brown. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess they are kind of different. But. Bummer, dude. And we have our decks. Oh, what are the sunflowers? Again, thinner quality paper, but single-sided. Ooh, that's pretty. Much easier picture to color. There's a peacock. I think watercolor mediums, watercolor markers would work really good in here. And some areas you may even need your fine liners. I think those dual tip Markers, you know, with the brush tip on one end and the fine liner on the other would work great in these books. So, yeah, so some of these are quite, um, quite a bit simpler than others. Much, much less detailed than the Mystery Colors books. <laughs> Here's a picture from Holland. But again, the mystery colors look so detailed. But yeah, they put a lot of the same color next to each other so that you can't see what kind of picture it is. Ooh, pretty poppies. Oh, that's pretty. Beautiful flowers. And birds. Oh, and a 
and a hummingbird. Is that the one that's on the cover? Yep. Oh, look how colorful that is. Another quite simplistic picture. Oh, we have our parrot. Bet you he's colorful too. And then we have our answer key again. Yeah, look at these gorgeous flowers. Love them colors. With the beautiful tulips, that's pretty too. And you'll notice no patterns in this one. <laughs> For those of you who do not like patterns. All right, and that is the back cover with four images from inside the book. So again, that is the most current relax and color. This is a previous uh, edition and then the most current mystery colors. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of these books. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.